So I'm going to make some stuffed no-bake zucchini. Have a couple zucchinis here in the fridge, and kind of need to be used. Got a little scratch on this one here. I must have stuck it in with a um, in and closed the door too tight. Anyway, so you just trim your zucchinis like this, and the way to make them stuffed um, really quickly is to get them in your frying pan with just a little bit of water here and what I might do is I'm actually going to add a little bit more water to it just because I'm what I'm going to do is try and steam them really quick so I'm going to put them in here and on high so I've got that water on high I'm going to turn it a little bit higher and give these guys a little bit of time to steam the insides. In the meantime, I have this beautiful pot here that I had just a little bit of water in and I'm going to add some coconut oil and I'm gonna start my stuffing while those cook. Okay, so coconut oil. Actually, we're gonna add a little bit of coconut oil to this too. There you go. And get my other things ready here. Because I'm just going to peel my onion and slice a portobello, and that's going to be my um, stuffing. So I find the easiest way to sort of chop an onion is to slice it like that, and then slice it like that and it just kind of makes it faster to carefully get those pieces chopped finely. Okay. Onions tend to shrink down a lot anyway, so you don't need them too, too tiny. I'm just going to put them right in here and get these guys sauteing. So you can see that the zucchinis are starting to cook already. I'm going to grab my pepper here. I've just got a quarter of a pepper. And that's okay. That's going to be enough. And slice the pepper up. If you... Whoops. Sorry. If you can um, do two pieces of whatever it is that you're chopping at once. Definitely saves time. Just be careful that you don't cut yourself. Okay, and then chop it that way. And a little pieces. And I'm going to turn the heat up on my stuffing. Whoops. And just get this in here. So those can start cooking and then I'm going to add a little portobello too. Um, not sure if I should add the whole portobello. We'll see. I'll set that aside. But I don't want it to over flavor, although of course portobellos are just a lovely flavor anyways. But you want it to um, keep that zucchini flavor. Chop, chop, chop. Okay, add this to this one. I have this on high. Make sure everything's on high for faster cooking. Just don't walk away. <laughs> don't walk away from the stove when everything's on high. Okay, I'm gonna have a look at this here and just see if I have enough portobello. I kind of think I do because, um, well, I don't know how much is going to shrink. You know what? Let's just add it anyways.
getting the peppers, onions, portobello's cooking nicely. And I am going to, um, once again, So I don't want them to scorch when I when I have them on high. So you can see the zucchinis have gotten really nice here and soft. So what I'm going to do is grab one. Mm, they're not quite soft yet. Okay, a little more water and turn them on high. They are on. Okay, so one of the things that you can do if you're really in a hurry, which I don't want to bore you guys with me waiting, this would probably, for these zucchinis to soften up, it's obviously going to take another five minutes. So I think what I'm going to do is just skip stuffing it and make a zucchini casserole. Plan B. Okay, so in that case, I am going to, um, I'm just going to pull these things out because I'm impatient. And you know what? It's better for you raw anyways. Pull that out. <laughs> Go like this. Get them in there. Pretend you're Edward Scissorhands. And just move on to plan B. Just to chop these up. They're still, you know, they're still a little bit soft. So it's not like they're going to be completely raw, but they're going to um, have just that tender, crisp texture. Which is going to be even better. See, when the universe makes other plans and makes the zucchini cook really slow, you just have to work with that. Put that one back in there. one and oh that see that one's almost ready so what I was going to do before I decided to not wait uh, was to take those out run them under cold water so that you could handle them and scoop the insides out insides out with a spoon and then um, put the stuffing in put them in this nice little casserole dish and uh, stuff them Okay, so these are going back in the frying pan. Actually, you know what? They're not really that hot. I'm just going to scoop them in with my hands. Okay. Let's get that in there. All right. Different view. There we go. <laughs> plan B. Non-stuffed zucchini casserole. Okay, so these guys are having a really good time here. can see that they're just beautiful. And um, seeing as I was going to do the stuffing with a uh, nutritional yeast and then add some cornflake crumbs over top, uh, I think I'm just going to add that to the, since it's all going to be mixed together anyways, I might as well add it to the peppers and the uh, portobello's. Just wanted to add a little coconut oil to that to make these guys get nice. All right, so here's the nutritional yeast. Grab a little spoon. This stuff is amazing for making anything cheesy, so I'm just gonna put it on. That's about three level teaspoons on here. See, and what it's gonna do is make this like super cheesy flavor and it also thickens almost like a gravy if you can see that gravy look at that how beautiful okay I always like to add a little bit of Celtic sea salt or Himalayan sea salt fresh ground pepper and my favorite, a little bit of cayenne. Okay, 
So, here's our plan B. Look at that. Does that look lovely or what? That is just gorgeous. Beautiful. So, let's just put this in here. I'll turn the heat off the back burner. And now, see, the water is mostly gone in those zucchinis. So, I'm not going to uh, have it too watery. There's perfect timing for that. See there. Nice, lovely pepper mixture here. And you see where that's just cooking up really nicely. So it's your uh, <laughs> non cooked 10 minute zucchini. I don't know how many minutes we've been going here, but I really don't like cooking for more than 15 minutes. Now, once the zucchini's in here, I can see that I need more nutritional yeast because I really do like it cheesy. So I'm going to go, that's about two more tablespoons. So that was uh, two, four, six. I'd say six tablespoons. And um, I see that's making a really beautiful casserole. So I'm going to mix that up. And if you wanted to, after I put it in my nice little casserole dish, uh, if you wanted to put it in the oven to cook further while you set the table or to soften it so that it's mushier, that's fine. But you know what? This is going to be just right. Put this here. really get much better than that. Okay, so I'm going to put it in here for um, appearances to take my beautiful picture. Look at that. And I think I will add, I'll shut that off, shut the stove off. I think I will add just a little bit of cornflake crumbs just for beauty and texture. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so that recipe um, will be on GeorginaSear.com. Isn't that pretty? Woo!